Hello everyone, Sarah here. Today we're getting into the lenses in which we live through because the vast majority of us find it so easy to live through the lens of love when it comes to looking at others, to being kind to others, to forgiving others, to extending grace, mercy, compassion for others. And that is why people with big hearts find themselves with people with such small shriveled hearts because of the lens that we're living through. So often we live through at least two lenses, if not more. We can see things a certain way when we have a certain set of lenses on. We're looking at others and we can we can see them with love. We can see them with greatness. We can see all of the incredible, wonderful, loving things about them. We see the greatness about them. We see everything we love about them. We can compliment them. We can praise them. And we can really mean it. We can see all the good that they do. But when it comes to seeing ourselves and taking a look at ourselves through those same lenses, it's as if they get taken off and set down. And we look at ourselves through another set of lenses, normally a set of lenses that's far more critical, far more judgmental, much more harsh on ourselves. We tend to see all the bad. We tend to see all the things that we've done wrong, all the areas and places and ways that we have fallen short. We pick ourselves apart when we're wearing those lenses and we focus on all the things that weren't good enough, that we didn't do well. And that leaves us with an internal experience of feeling shame, guilt, resentment, disappointment, heaviness, that we're a letdown when we're seeing ourselves through that lens. So if you are someone who considers themselves empathetic, kind, and you say, I'm an empath, I hear this all the time, especially in the world of healing from emotional abuse and neglect after having been with narcissists, raised by them, partnered with them. What about empaths? That's a great question, empaths. What lens are you looking at yourself through? What is it about you that makes it so easy to see all the good with everyone else, to have empathy, to extend empathy when it comes to everyone else. But when you're looking at yourself through that same lens, where's that same empathy? What is it that has you place that lens down when it comes to looking at yourself, extending the empathy to you? The same empathy that you extend to them, the same kindness, the same compassion, the same forgiveness. What is it? that's happened? What is it that you're holding on to that stops you from viewing yourself through the same lens and causes you to view the yourself through the lens of criticism, judgment, shame, not good enough, lack? It's the very reason why you extend Forgiveness time and time and time and time and time again. And that's the very same thing that leaves you feeling used, abused, taken advantage of, walked all over, empty inside because you've given everything to everyone else and you've reserved none of it for yourself. Where is the empathy for yourself? What caused you to lay those lenses down and pick up a new set and start looking at yourself and viewing yourself through that, through that set, through that pair? through the pair of despair. What, what causes that exchange, the laying down and the putting down of looking at yourself through the lens of love, empathy? What stops you from getting yourself that same credit that you give everyone else, especially those in your life who take advantage of you, that quality that you have, what is it within you that causes you to, to not have that same quality and trait when it comes to viewing yourself, to knowing yourself, to extending that same compassion to you, that compassion you so easily give everyone else? You see, what that's a part of is your internal dialogue. It's a part of the, the story, the internal dialogue that you have when it comes to you. You don't have the same internal dialogue when it comes to everyone else because that's an external dialogue. 
internal is about you. And that's what it's all about is that internal dialogue, that story, the subconscious beliefs, the internal beliefs that you have about yourself, the lens in which you're looking at yourself through and the different lens in which you're viewing everyone else through. It's all part of a recording, a program that's playing in your mind. And far too many of us, especially those who identify as empaths, they don't have the same dialogue for themselves that they have for everyone else. The internal dialogue is different. It's being viewed from a different lens. And when we're viewing everyone else and seeing all of the greatness that they have, all of the wonderful things they do, the ways that they, they just, yeah, they have a little bit of you know room for improvement, but you see the greatness. You see all the things that they do well, that they do right. But when it comes to looking at yourself, the internal story changes. The story changes. The external story is I see the good in everyone. I have, I have hope in everyone. I have faith in everyone else. But when it comes to viewing myself and taking a look at myself, these, where are they? They're nowhere to be found. And when that internal dialogue doesn't leave you feeling good, you go on a quest, a search, a hunt for something that will make you feel good. And it feels good to extend that and view others as that. And so you do when you continue the search, the quest for where it is. You continue to look for things externally, outside validation. And when you don't have it, you don't find it, you don't receive it. You do things to harm yourself because there's a belief. It must not be available to me. I must not deserve it. I must not deserve the love that everyone else deserves the love that I see in everyone else. I must not deserve it. Therefore, there must be something wrong with me. I must be different from everyone else. What's different is the story, the internal dialogue, the one that you so easily give everyone else, but find impossible to give yourself. And so you go looking for that validation and that approval that you really need internally, the one that you you share and extend so easily externally that's the same one that you need internally. And when you can't find it within, you go look for it out there and beat yourself up, harm yourself in so many ways when you don't have that same story, the same love, the same empathy, the same compassion for yourself that you give everyone else. All you truly need is to feel good about yourself. You need your own approval. But when you're looking at Everyone else through this lens. But when it comes to looking at yourself, that lens is nowhere to be found. Doesn't leave you feeling good. So what lens are you looking at yourself through? What is the internal story? What is the internal dialogue? What are the things it's saying to you? What are the ways it's making you feel? But what have you asked yourself about what you've done to try and fix it or change it that hasn't worked? What it takes to truly break through, change it, and look at yourself through the same lens that you look at everyone else with. Is it reprogramming, a changing, a transformation of that story, of that dialogue, so that you can have the same experiences, same feelings, same emotions that you work so hard to allow everyone else in your life to feel and to experience. When you're ready for that, I'd love to connect. You can find out more information in the link in the description below this video when you're ready to change the lens in which you view your life through.